Well, today I'm absolutely thrilled to be at Lake Eildon and I've taken a bit of a road trip to come over here to just check out the local scenery here. And the weather's looking okay. There's been a little bit of rain around and there's plenty of water. And as you can see, the landscape here is just absolutely beautiful, spectacular lake. I'm up on a lookout here with an overview of the lake and I'm scouting around for locations. But I just want to spend some time over here in this district, which I haven't been to well, since I was a teenager. So I think one of the things I want to concentrate on is just relaxing into the moment. Finding some subject matter to shoot nightscapes, of course, that's what I want to do. But more than that, I just want to breathe in this gorgeous mountain fresh air. I'm not far away from the high country here in Victoria. I could see Mount Hotham over there previously before. It's probably about 30 miles away from here. And I absolutely love it here, and I can't wait to get into it. Well, just have a look down there. This is at a bit of a vantage point overlooking Lake Eildon, and you can see there in the mountains in the background, it's just an amazing place to be. And I'm scouting locations at the moment, trying to find somewhere to shoot the Milky Way. And I've got two options really. I can face towards the east uh, in the early part of the evening, or I can face towards the west very close to dawn and I'll I'll be investigating both aspects now the the lake itself here I'm on the western side of it so the east is probably the better option here but there could be some other vantage points facing the other direction I'll just see how I go but anyway just at the moment I'm just so much enjoying the view up here it is absolutely stunning Now a lot of my time on these trips is spent driving around exploring the countryside. As you can see, I'm on a dirt road here. I don't really know what's down here. So it's just a matter of driving around and seeing what I can find. Now at the moment, I'm going down and down too low. There's way too many trees around. So I've got to try and find some open space so I can get the core of the Milky Way above the tree canopy. And I'm... Um, I think I've got away from the lake, so I'm going to just take a detour and go back and see what I can find. But it is absolutely beautiful in here. It's an amazing landscape and countryside. Just have a look at this. One of the reasons I love coming to places like this, this is just a little creek crossing. and. Uh, running water fresh mountain stream this is absolutely amazing i love this stuff okay well i finally found a spot which i reckon will work quite well down here by the lake it's a bit of a walk to get there from the car park here but, and it's getting darkish, the sun's just peeking down on the horizon. I'm going to take you down and show you a couple of the compositions that I'm working on to shoot tonight. Let's go. I don't know if you can see them in the background down there, but there's a heap of kangaroos. They're just running away because I've come close. But uh, I think I'm going to see a heap of them tonight. And they make a lot of noises, but they don't hurt people. Biggest problem with kangaroos is when you strike them on the road and they just stand there in the middle of the road. Not good, which is why I've got the bull bar on my car. Anyway, beautiful night, the sky is clearing, I'm off. Okay, so the sun has just peaked over the western horizon here. So it's starting to get dark and it'll get dark pretty quickly, I reckon. You can see in the background there's this, this old dead tree standing there just before the water. The water's right over there in the distance. There's this dead tree. It's not huge, but I'm going to light paint that tonight. Try and get the water. It's a fair way from the water. Unfortunately, I'd prefer it to be closer, but I'll do my best to get the water in the background and the tree. But there's a couple of other things. There's another tree over there which looks interesting. The other thing is, I've got the option here of potentially shooting in both directions. So this way towards the east early in the evening, Milky Way call coming up and at this time of year, so we're at the end of May and at that time of year, probably at about five o'clock in the morning, the Milky Way call is going to be over there in the west. So in other words, the Milky Way's up all night 
Uh, I'm probably not going to stay up all night, but, but I can shoot both ways if I feel to, and, and if the clouds disappear for the whole night. But there's one other thing, really exciting thing I want to show you, just over here. Let's have a look. Okay, now I've just got to show you this. It's a waterfall. Have a look at that. Now, you know where I come from, there's not too many waterfalls. And so if I can find one, even if it is only about that much, I get pretty excited about that. Don't know if I'm able to shoot that tonight because it's actually, I'd have to have the camera here facing towards the west. If I could though, I'd be absolutely delighted. Oh, don't you just love waterfalls? Yeah, I will see how we go. There you go. Nothing like a good old cup of tea and a bicky while I'm waiting for it to get dark. And uh, it won't be too long. The sky has cleared beautifully, so it's going to be awesome tonight. Mmm. Beautiful. Tell you what, this is the absolute life. Toast and Vegemite, a cup of tea, beautiful, gorgeous morning. You just wouldn't want to be anywhere else, would you? This is just absolutely magic. It is just so amazing being out here in this morning stillness. You can hear the birds chirping. There's a few kangaroos hopping around in the bush down there, down by the lake. It's just amazing. It is just a wonderful experience. And you know, I, I often ask myself, why do I do this? I mean, what is it that really motivates? A am I trying to, to inspire myself? Am I trying to find something I haven't seen before to, to shoot? Um, uh, maybe it's a combination of all of those things. I'm not sure, but I can tell you that there's plenty of lakes closer to my home than here. I've had to drive hours just to get here. Uh, and the Milky Way is the same at home as it is here. This is no darker sky than I've got at home. But it's the adventure. I just love being here in the great outdoors. And I say it often, but I just breathe in the sounds and the smells and the experience of nature. And I think that is what motivates me to get out of bed, and to get out in the frost and the, and the really cold weather, uh, lack of sleep, and all of the other things that I know we all share and we all do these things. And you know, I think it's really important to motivate ourselves with the experience that we enjoy so much. And that's what I try to do. Now, last night, I have gotta tell you about the shots I took. Now, this is one of the places I shot last night. And to be honest, it's fairly uninspiring when you first just look at this. But when I came here, I saw this tiny little earthen island just there. And I thought to myself, this, that could make an interesting foreground subject 
for my shot. Now I say it could make because oftentimes you, you just don't know. It's not a rock, it's not a big boulder or it's not a tree, it's, not, it's nothing really significant. All it is, is a piece of dirt. But I featured it as my foreground, then shot down there. This is also the same place where I shot my multi-row pano last night. Pretty much right across from here to there. So I'm excited to see how that one turns out. But I want to go down to that waterfall because that was something that I really loved seeing last night with a bit of light painting on it. So let's go and have a quick look at that one. Okay, now I do realise how silly it probably seems that a grown man like myself can get so much enjoyment out of a waterfall that's as big as a bathtub. But hey, I just love this little thing. It's just here in this tiny little gully in this little creek running into the reservoir. So I shot it here last night and I was wrapped to be able to do that. I actually shot it at pretty much exactly the same angle of where this camera is now with the 20 mil f1.8, but I had it in portrait orientation. And the Orion constellation was just down there on the horizon. Uh, I, my plan was to get the Milky Way course setting over there, but that happened at about 5.30 this morning. And at 5.30 this morning, there was quite a bit of cloud cover here. So that didn't happen, but never mind. I'm really happy with the shot that I actually did get here. So when it comes to nightscape photography, who doesn't enjoy a good old dead tree? Now there's heaps and heaps of dead trees here because this lake was flooded obviously and there's trees at the moment, the water line has receded so there's plenty of them out of the water. But I shot this one here last night and I think it looks good as a foreground subject because it's quite stark as opposed to the rest of the background which is beautiful with the hills and the trees in the background there. Uh, so. I often try to isolate just one single tree and sometimes when you come to a place like this you'll notice that there are hundreds of trees and it's really difficult to isolate just one tree and so I was able to here it's probably about the only one that I could do that with and still get a little bit of water in the background so that's what I did use my Nikon 20mm f 1.8s lens and, and have I told you lately that is an absolutely beautiful lens I use it all the time, it's just so good, sharp, and I usually stop it to about f2.2. Uh, I've certainly shot it at f1.8 before, but uh, f2.2, it's just about perfect. But anyway, trees, uh, there's plenty of them on this lake and I'll probably be shooting some more before I go home. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit of a sucker for these 
inland lakes and reservoirs. I mean, the ocean is awesome, but these are so underutilized sometimes, especially for nightscape photography. And so that's why I decided to come over here and spend a couple of days here. And look at this, it is an absolutely awesome day. Now, I'm gonna do some more investigating of this lake. Now, as you can see from the aerial footage, there's arms and legs and tributaries everywhere from this particular lake. So for that reason, it's quite difficult to access the lake itself. And they've uh, blocked off quite a few roads recently as well, which has made it even more difficult. But that's not going to deter me. I've got all day to do some exploration. I'm heading towards the northern end today. And tonight, if this weather stays like this, I'm going to get some more nightscapes and I'm really, really looking forward to that. Well, there you have it. Another exciting episode out here in this beautiful environment. Well, it comes to a close. But I hope you've enjoyed the process of what I've done here and I really appreciate the comments that you may have in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd be absolutely delighted to have you on board. So anyway, I'm gonna continue this adventure a day or two here and we'll see what we can get up to. In the meantime, you have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.